Thanks, Phyllis. Okay, we're going to close with a final video, uh, after which you're free to go. We're done. Uh, and what I hope you'll see over the next four minutes is what I believe to be some of the most memorable and inspirational moments in the history of the modern Olympic Games over the past 82 years. You'll see Jesse Owen breaking the color barrier and becoming the first African American to win a gold medal for the, Olympic, uh, for the U.S. team. You see Carl Lewis setting the world record in the 100 meter dash. Uh, you know, and who could forget Scott Hamilton or Bonnie Blair or the U.S. hockey team beating the Russians in 1980 um, or Bruce Jenner in the decathlon or Florence Flojo Joyner, the fastest woman on the planet uh, or Dan Jansen in speed skating, falling in his favorite event but then coming back to win and set the world record in the next event. You'll see these but actually dozens of others from dozens of different countries, not just in the U.S. Uh, and in dozens of different sporting events uh, throughout the Olympics. But the most inspirational story, I believe, doesn't involve winning a gold medal or setting a world record. And I've saved it to the very end. It involves the women's track team from Nigeria. And they're competing, I believe, in 1988 in the 4x100 meter relay. Now, this was a team that was completely unknown. They weren't expected to win anything. And they were representing a country that had very few gold medals or any Olympic medals to their name from any sport. Well, the United States women's team easily won the event. In fact, they set an Olympic record uh, in the process. But the third, fourth, and fifth place winners uh, were placers were so close that the judges had to review the film before they could figure out exactly who won the bronze medal and who was going to go home empty-handed. Well, as you know, they waited for the judges, and as the uh, uh, women's team from Nigeria saw on the scoreboard that they, in fact, had won third place, you know, their joyous celebration on the infield made headlines around the world. Now, they may not have won the gold that day, but they won the hearts of spectators around the world. And their emotional victory um, was, was uh, something that will forever be etched in my mind and probably yours after today. They were a small team from a small country achieving greatness. So can we, a small function within the big company of Procter & Gamble, really achieve that big, hairy, audacious goal that we said yesterday we wanted to set out to achieve? I believe that we can. And the rest of the NALT believes that we can too. So I hope you've enjoyed our time together. I hope you'll be taking something away uh, as far as what you're going to do to help deliver on that big, hairy, audacious goal. I hope you learned something you didn't know. I hope you met somebody you hadn't met. But most of all, I hope that you've been inspired by something you didn't expect. Let's have a look at the video.